Hello, Brian from Workspace Admins here. Today we'll show you what unmanaged accounts are, how those are created, and how you can deal with those accounts when you first sign up for Google Workspace. So we'll go ahead and go to accounts.google.com here on the left, or slash sign up without Gmail. So I have already actually signed up for an account, so I'll just uh, sign in. When you fill out the link, it'll ask you for your email address and it'll send you an email. So usually it'll go to non-Google mailbox. However, for us, we just created a routing rule using BCP and address map to route it to our um, workspace admins mailbox. So here I'll just sign into Brian at GWSWTF. So I was able to sign in and I'll just verify that this is not actually a managed account. So usually on the right hand side, if it's managed, it'll say account is managed by your domain. On the left, you you don't see that message. Also, another thing to note is that similar to cloud identity free accounts, it only has 15 gigabytes of storage. And as expected, it doesn't have access to Gmail, calendar, or any of the paid workspace services. However, these services are available for gmail.com accounts. So these accounts are typically created for things like drive access. Another good example is uh, Google Marketing Platform Access. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and create, create a folder here called test. So that folder is in there and then I'll create a doc in here called test doc. And I'll also go here and create a new doc here on the right. And then I'll share this with Brian at if I go to the file, as you can see, I'm now collaborating on this file you can see the changes in real time. So I just wanted to do that just to validate that this will be brought over when you use a tool in the admin console called transfer tool for unmanaged users. So this is a brand new account that we just created. This doesn't show me that the account X actually exists. So Google introduced a new API in beta called user invitation API. So you can obviously use a GAM with it. So we'll use a command called GAM check is invitable. Brian at GWS WTF. So this will call that API and let me know if the user is invitable. So as you can see, it is an invitable user. So now that we've done that, we are going to go here and refresh. This may show us the list. Actually, it does not. So we'll just go to GAM documentation here and send ourselves an invite using transfer tool or the using the API. So let's search for unmanaged. So before we do that, I'm actually going to cause a conflict or create, force this account to going to a conflicted status or evict this account. So this account will be renamed to gtemp for account. So you are asking the user to rename the account when you create a, an account with the same name or create an alias with the same name or create a group with the same name. So here, I'll go back to Cloud Shell, but before we do that, I'll go to Google Marketing Platform and I'm just going to go ahead and switch over to my own um, marketing platform here and I'll just go to analytics and I'll just add an account user here just to make sure that this user will still have access. So I'll just give them viewer access. So if I go to analytics.google.com So, so as you can see, this user now has access to analytics. Another common one is Google Data Studio. So let's create one here. 
Just make sure that everything will be brought over. So I'll just create a blank report. And it asks me what country I'm in. Canada. Agree, continue. No to all is not an option. So new report. I don't care. I'll just call it a test report. I'll just create the page. So there's two pages in here. I haven't edited anything, so we'll just leave it at that. So now what we are going to do is to show you what happens when we cause a conflict account to get created. So I'll just create an alias. Come create alias. Brian. Yes, WTF target Ryan. I just create an alias for myself. So I'll do cam what is it assures me that it is now an alias of workspace admins.org or Brian at workspace admins.org. So if I refresh this page here, uh, we'll see that the account name has now changed. So now my email is brian percent sign gws.wtf at gtempoaccount.com. So that shows up there. And if I refresh here, it will also show me the same thing. It was actually at the bottom there. So this account is now in conflicted status. So in order to resolve this, what you will need to do is first delete the alias. So, and you also need to have the user rename their account back to what it was originally. So that can actually be done from accounts at google.com, info, email, Google account email, enter email again. So if the user doesn't know their password or if it has two-step verification enabled, but user lost their second factor, then unfortunately you no longer, or users cannot recover their account because it's a uh, user controlled account, not the admin controlled account. So now I will enter my password here. Here, typically gmail.com account or managed accounts, uh, users cannot change their email, so, but because this is in a conflicted status or because it's an unmanaged account, uh, this account can be renamed. So this will send another verification email, which will go to my Gmail mailbox. So user will get this email. So I don't need to do anything. Actually, there's another email here to confirm this change. Copy link email, copy link, paste that in, sign in one more time. And account is now successfully renamed. So now I'll go back to GAM and this time I'll just double check that user is still invitable. So when it's in G temp status, it's it is not invitable. So I may need to wait a few minutes here. Wrong command. That's the one I like to use. Okay, so going back to the invitation for GAM. So user invitation is actually fairly simple. So it uses client access. So GAM send user invitation. So you need to be a super admin to use this API followed by the email. So we'll do that. Um, send invitation. So now user will get another email and I need to make the right user right command. So invite is sent. So now if I go here, that invitation now shows up because invite has been sent. So request status is showing in invited. So you get this email, so Google account transfer request. So your IT admin is requesting that you transfer your account to Google, blah, blah, blah. So user has an option to maybe 
uh, do an export from their account to take remove any personal data, but you, they can simply choose to accept this request. So I'll just copy link to this and go here. And tell me what will happen. You're about to transfer to your organization, apps and services, account access, data export. So it gives an option, terms and conditions will change. So account is now transferred. So in the admin console, so let's see what, or using GAM, let's see what GWS or Brian at GWS WTF is. But as you can see, it is now a user that's created in the root org unit. So we'll just show you here, refresh here, accepted. And directory users now shows there's another user called Brian Kim that has been transferred in. So I will just validate that I still have access. So here it showed gtemp account. So the file will have the same link. And this one was shared from my account to this account. So this user still has access. A couple other things were analytics. Overcome. They still have access to analytics. And last one was data studio. So two pages here as expected. So this is how you invite an unmanaged account into your Google Workspace, Google Workspace using GAM, using user invitation API. So if you found this video helpful, uh, please subscribe to our channel, uh, like this video. And if you have any questions about the process, uh, please leave us comments below and um, we'll get back to you. Thank you.